Welcome to Kids Quest from the Chattanooga Public Library with Olga and Shelly. This week we are very curious about stars. When you look up at the night sky, do you ever wonder about stars? How many can you see at night? Well, if you have sharp eyes, you may see hundreds, maybe even a thousand or so. But with a special instrument called a telescope, you can see a lot more. A telescope makes distant things appear closer. Did you know binoculars are small telescopes? You look through them with both of your eyes, so there are two barrels rather than the telescope's one long tube. There are giant telescopes that can see way out into space. They are kept in a special building called an observatory. Many are round, so the telescope inside can rotate in all directions. When you think about stars, is this the shape you think about? But stars out in space are not this shape. They are round spears of hot gases. Remember, our sun is a star. Did you know not all stars are the same color? All stars are hot, but some are cooler than others. Red stars are the coolest. Then there are orange stars, yellow stars, white stars, and blue stars are the hottest stars. Our sun is a yellow dwarf star. A constellation is a group of stars that make a pattern. Can you guess what pattern this makes? This constellation is Ursa Major, our Great Bear. Unlike real bears, it has a long tail, though. In fact, part of the tail pattern makes up what is known as the Big Dipper. A dipper is a scoop with a long handle. It does look like a dipper. How about this constellation? This is Ursa Minor, or Little Bear. This bear has a really long tail. It is also known as the Little Dipper. The other interesting thing about this constellation is that the North Star is up at the tip. Here is a video of stars. This is a time-lapse video, where filming lasted over hours, but is sped up to see. As the Earth rotates, it looks as if the stars are moving. How about the streaks of light? Those are not shooting stars, those are airplanes. Now it is time for an activity challenge. Recording stars, you see. Pick a night with little moonlight because the moon is very bright. Make sure there are no clouds to block the stars. Try to be away from lights and buildings. You want to be able to see the stars as clearly as possible. If 
If you have a telescope, that is great. If you don't, try to take some binoculars, but it is okay if you don't have either one. Take paper and a pencil to record the stars you see. Draw them on the paper. A star map will help you locate stars in the sky. Oh, and a flashlight to see the paper and map. And most importantly, take a grown-up. And have lots of fun and stay curious.